Hey everybody, welcome to the Korea vlog. I'm in Korea. Yes, I'm sitting in my hotel room. I'm drawing Korea, literally. So I flew the first time business class in my life. I really appreciate the leg room and I could sleep the whole 18 hours we were flying. So good job Lufthansa. If you ever want to work with me, reach out to me. I will probably not fly the last time to Korea. I did a lot of exciting stuff. So be excited for this vlog. Korea as a country in general is, I want to say, highly recommended on my list to visit. Get used to, if you're European or if you're not from there, that you, that you maybe get stared um, also by little girls that maybe come by and tell you you're handsome, um, but also always in a very kind way, not too problematic. <laughs> When it comes to food, food was amazing. As you all know, I love chicken. I can eat chicken every day. I probably had like 10 chicken farms in my whole life already. I had also a lot of fish. Um, I was very open to also try raw fish, uh, grilled eel. <laughs> We had uh, kalbuchi, I hope I pronounced that correct, which was kind of like this beef um, in, the, in a pot. And we also visit a lot of cool things, museums. I drew everywhere, obviously, because I'm an artist. And I also saw some funny people acting very funny. Just leaving this here. Culture-wise, very interesting. Also the historical background, but also just like Visiting Seoul as a city, which is the combination of something loud and exciting and also calm at the same time. So when you walk around, people actually are very mindful and they're very polite. They try not to make a lot of noise, which you have to get used to when you come from a very loud city like Berlin. So we visit the Cultural National Museum there, uh, which was really, really like a treasure box for me to draw. I basically spent a lot of time standing there around drawing, uh, looking at these objects. Yeah, basically just absorbing all the information, all the culture, historic background. But I also visit tons of bookstores because I always looking for new treasures. Yeah, I'm drawing basically everywhere. We spent a lot of time outside and we were very, very lucky with the weather for um, to the Han River and we had pretty sunny days. And my good friend Liam actually told me that we were pretty lucky because usually it rains a lot in summer season. But we went there in May, which was basically right in the beginning of summer season. I was also very, very appreciative about the fact that my girlfriend looked for hotel rooms with gyms inside. The only problematic thing is they have kind of like a weight limit. So for a big boy, um, 25 kilos are not that much, but you always find a way to make your workout. And if you eat a lot, obviously you have to train a little bit here and there. So we went to Busan as well, not only to Seoul. And uh, we always wanted to visit Busan because we know it's a beautiful place. You can basically go there by train. It's very fast. It's, they have two trains. One goes four hours, one goes two hours. So if you pay a bit more, you go by two hours. You just sit in the train and go directly to the train station and you're nearby the coast and we had so much luck with the weather you can see make beautiful walks they have great cafes in general they have great cafes everywhere <laughs> I also bought tons of art supplies obviously um, I'm addicted to drawing so I also have to find a new fuel for my tank so I always try to get inspired and uh, yeah, especially when you draw always um, it's it, it's just cool to switch it up sometimes 
Um, fun fact, if you buy a Starbucks coffee to go, you cannot sit down there. They can like force you to leave. But yeah, we visit a lot of beautiful places and I also sometimes just enjoyed looking at the city streets. Uh, there came also the day where Liam took us to the National Museum near the uh, North Korean border. So we learned a lot about the historical past, which was very, very interesting just to know also um, what was the background, how the separation actually happened. It was a very rainy day, so technically you can see North Korea there looking through a spyglass, but um, that day was not so easy. We visit the Super Annie studio, which is basically a studio by um, Kim Young Ji, rest in peace, and uh, Yoon Jin. Uh, Yoon Jin basically invited us to come by and look at the studio. Yeah, it's very hot. For me, it was like Christmas or uh, birthday and all together. <laughs> It was a little bit, a little bit like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory, I want to say, um, seeing all that stuff. They were just so kind, like letting me walking around, filming. This is, by the way, by my good friend Dong Ho. Um, he's also an amazing artist. And this is the workspace by Kim Young Ji. And Yoon Jin told me that he actually um, left everything as uh, he had it before, so he didn't move. It. He didn't even move his coffee cup. But now everything is in the um, Kim Young Ji Museum in Korea if you want to visit that. You see the amount of books and the amount of artwork and uh, I got so much inspiration there. I was so motivated, so inspired. I love this. <laughs> And uh, Yunjin also invited us to some eel, which was delicious. I, had, I think I had eel the first time in my life. Um, it was very, very delicious. We had also some rainy days, obviously, because uh, as Liam mentioned, it's supposed to rain technically, but no problem. I have my uh, other half with me and I have my pen and uh, everything, so I'm good. I don't have a problem with rain. So I was already very motivated to get better with drawing. And uh, we spent more time on walking around. The cool thing about Korea, it's very wide, so you have a lot of stores, you have a lot of stuff you can visit. and. We were three weeks there, and to be honest, three weeks are not enough to visit. Uh, we enjoyed every moment. So we obviously had a lot of fun, and you can also have some fun. So I hope maybe some of you are motivated now to also visit Korea, because it's definitely recommended. I wish you all a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you all, and make sure to smash that like button.